Good morning people, I am back again today doing a bit more work on the plough. I'm into my last field and last night I ripped two points off and just got that worn. So I now, well, the points were needing changed but I would have worked away but the two got ripped off so I had to stop. So this is the metal that was on the plough and these are the new ones that I have to put on. So as you can see, there's a very large difference and you forget that just because it's ever so slightly slow wearing. <laughs> but because I've done around 20 acres extra this year, um, it's, well, I'm on my second set of points. So I'll need to fire all these on. I'll not, I'll save you the time of watching that because you've seen it a few times before already. So I'll put them on, show you it, and then go back to my plow in the last field. Here we go. <laughs> I've got two new mow boards for the front now and uh, one of the boards wasn't playing ball. I had to weld these onto the mow board just so that I could undo the bolts at the back because they were just spinning I couldn't get the grips on them or bugger all but that's these boards on now I need to shine them up to make them usable otherwise the soil sticks to it. Well, will stick to it after I buff it up, but at least it'll start cleaning a bit better because if you leave the paint on, it'll take far longer. So, I'll shine them up, put the new points on, so that'll make a difference to ripping the pan up. Uh, so, there's only eight acres left, but we'll still be ready again for next year. So, shine these up, get going basically. Yep. Um, Usually the, all the mow boards or whatever would be all changed at once, however I think in the past the plough hasn't been set up right and most of the wear has been on the front boards so it's been digging a wee bit harder and then that's wore the most of it away so they were changed first and then those three, now these ones have worn down so they were not changed, they are very thin you can slash your hand on this part and they bother too, so it was a uh, they were no need to change. You've seen one getting ripped off, so and then I put an old board back on, but now I've got two new ones. Perfect, so that's just the job. <laughs> ah, shut up! Oh, sorry, <clears throat> all right. So, this is the last field I'm in, just to plow right along to there. It's about 10 acres if that, I'm pretty sure. It's going well enough, apart from the two front mow boards are sticky. And uh, I'm struggling to clean them with the soil because it's not clean, it's not sliding through it, it's just sticking to it. So every now and again I get out and I'm cleaning it at the ends in the hope that it'll eventually rub clean. But other than that, I'm making quite a good job in here, I think. It's uh, nice and straight for once, because it's not that bad a hill or bugger all, you know. The only problem is it's it's a right awkward shape, you know. I, I ploughed that corner out and uh, made a straight line straight down to there, and then I've got just an awkward heat rig. And then I've got a straight edge down there, but because I started over there last year it wasn't uh, where I could start this year. So I took that line. This whole field's going to get power harrowed anyway as well to make sure it's right proper level because this field's getting put into grass 
so after it's under sewn, no, after it's sewn with barley, it's going to get under sewn with a grass hara box and uh, it'll grow underneath and then we'll get a, get a crop of barley on it <coughs> and then immediately after that there'll be some uh, grass underneath so that'll be good for next year's crop of silage just like the two fields up up the top of the farm down the road so yeah nice doing a good job I believe so, apart from that, obviously, the mole board's getting sticky, so... It's uh, going quite well, I would say. I'll be happy, you know? The end's in sight, and then I get to get a go in the cedar while Dad's away to spread fertiliser on the grazing ground. So, I think it's about 30 or 40 acres. He's took the 70-40 off, of course, so he gets the seed back and uh, the fertiliser spinner on that. But, doesn't really need the big tractor on that, but uh, I have to put it on this uh, seed drill, so this'll do the job anyway. I like this tractor. I do really like the tractor, but the only downside to this tractor is you don't get the, the same noise from the exhaust. Oh, that's the only problem. I love the noise from the exhaust that they give, so... Aye! Just one of the things, but just the way things are going, unfortunately. The ground's getting quite dry. You can probably see some stewer kicking up there. That's just really annoying that. It is starting to batter off a wee bit. It's not sticking to the boards as much, even after I've buffed them a wee bit. It's just a lack of kind of clay to make sure it slides off it. In here it's just kind of sticking. It's annoying, but ah, it'll get there hopefully. Hopefully before I finish the field, but who knows? Who knows? <laughs> But, yeah, it's doing no bad otherwise. I'm really struggling with these boards to get the get the paint off them. Cleaning them nearly every every run and aye, they're still not clean though, so just gonna need to work away with it. Uh looks like paint might still be on it next year. So I'll have a, uh, the back end, so I'll probably give it a proper buff then. <laughs> Honestly, I thought giving it a quick buff and then putting it in the ground up here would have been enough, but the soil is just too good up here. I suppose in sandy soil it'd be different again, but this kind of soil is quite sticky rather than slidey or abrasive. So, yeah, bit annoying, but. It is working away, still doing a good job, it just doesn't look the same because it's not turning it over the same because it's, uh, well, sticking to the board. Really need to watch where you're going, there's a drop at this end. And some big trees. This field's known as the wood park, so... Uh, mainly because there's trees right around it. <laughs> so, anyway, hope you all enjoyed today's video um, and the drone footage that I have put up. I have not decided whether I'm going to put it before now or after now, but it'll be in there somewhere. So I hope you've all enjoyed today's video. We'll hopefully see you next time. That's the end of the ploughing saga for this period of time anyway, but I hope that you've enjoyed it so hopefully the next time the video is up it'll be me on the cedar that'll be interesting i don't really get a shot at the cedar it's uh that's dad's favorite job but looks like he's given me the last 30 odd acre to do so that's good for me some experience <laughs> so we'll just see how it goes so thanks for watching we'll see you next time <laughs>